All right, today, four days out. Um, how am I feeling today? Uh, today I'm starting to feel just like I thought I was starting to feel, which I know tomorrow is going to be that much <clears throat> worse. Um, today was uh, three gallons of water, so right now it's 8 o'clock at night, and I'm about to go do my push workout. Um, and I have just finished two, two gallons of water. Um, I get pretty good about finishing about three-fourths of a gallon, you know, during my workout. So, I'm going to make sure I hit that and finish the rest of my water, like, before I go to sleep. But I've been peeing all freaking day. Like, the diuretics that I'm, the tea and everything that I'm drinking has the water just, like, pouring out of me. Um, I'm starting to get fatigued again. Yesterday, I had a lot of energy. Earlier today, I had a lot of energy. And I can see it starting to go down because my carbs are decreasing. And tomorrow, they're going to decrease as well. Um, tomorrow really is it's Wednesday and then we're really that that really starts the depletion process for me at least um, you know my carbs are cut again so I'll be uh, you know flat again you know tomorrow I'll be flat when I wake up tomorrow and I'll be flat Thursday um, then Thursday I think I don't even really remember but I think I start to mildly increase my carbs and then Friday I, um, <clears throat> increase them as well but um, it's been uh, it's been a very up and down process a very emotional process um, earlier I made I was recording about body fat testing and I'm not even gonna post that because it was like such a diet brain conversation it's like just rambling I looked at it and there's like nine minutes of just like probably the same information I was talking about but what I was talking about earlier I got my body fat tested this morning my true true body fat testing um, and usually when you pick up a caliper or uh, you know a handheld um, it's really testing that surface body fat, which for a lot of people, like for me, it'll tell me like right now I'm like 4%. Um, on the surface, you know, that's so, so, the, uh, the water and everything that's on, you know, on top of my muscle. Um, it'll tell me that that body fat is about 4%, um, which is cool. But then if I went and got my real body fat testing, you know, with everything with my internal um, body fat testing, you know, like the, the, the body fat around my organs, uh, around my intestines and, um, and bone marrow as well, test all of that. Um, and I came out to be just over 8%, which is very, 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 very good. Um, last time I went before my show, the week of my show, I was 11.7%. Um, so a 3, you know, percent body fat drop, almost 4, uh, a good 3.5 pounds of muscle that I've gained in 4 months, which is actually really, really good it's for 4 pounds of pure muscle gain, 5 pounds of fat loss. Um, for those people who are really care about, like, what um what is the good way and bad way to test your body fat it's really no bad way and i'll say that to say this whatever your goals are it really determines how thorough you should be with your body fat testing um if you're somebody who is like doing a competition or has a very very specific goal in mind for a number to get down to then i would say you know go pay somebody to do the dunk test or uh a deca scan or whatever it is you know get pay somebody to run the test on the machine to where it tests visceral fats which is going to tell you how healthy you are inside and all of these things like that um get somebody to test that now what i will say is if you're just somebody generally looking to get goal like have goals and generally are looking to achieve something um you know just a, a slight goal i want to drop a few pounds i want to look better i want to feel better then it doesn't matter get a handheld you know body fat reader get a caliper um get a sculpt testing you know machine something that's ineffective and something that i'm sorry not ineffective inexpensive and something you can do yourself and the reason I say that is because um, you just want to get a starting number and that way you can gauge progress even if it tells you that you're 15% body fat and in the next week or the, like the next month tells you you're 13% you'll know that you have lost 2% whether you are really 11% to start off with or you are really 17% to start off with you're, know, you're knowing that you're dropping body fat if your goal is just a general goal of, of, of leaning out and looking better but only really worry about you know these accurate testings about what you really 
really and truly are if you have a goal in mind. For me, I just do it every so often just because I like to know. Uh, I more so go off of a look, how I look, you know, how, how are my abs and my obliques in, how full do I look. Um, I'm still over 200 pounds, which I am turned the hell up about the fact that I'm going to be able to be over 200 pounds on stage, lean as hell, really excites me. Um, so... I'm about to go in here. I've been training at LA Fitness for the last couple of days because it's a little bit warmer gym. So I like to stay warm, especially during this time where I have to drink so much water. Um, just another thing that actually helps me get my water in. Um, dude, lights are bright as hell. Um, and you know this gym here doesn't have like 24 hour fitness has a huge ceiling fan the ceiling fans that just keeps the gym cool and cold and i asked them they're like we're really tailoring towards more family vibes so we want to keep everybody nice and like forget that that's why commercial gyms for me like are just like i really wish that there was like a uh, a gym that was not like a commercial gym out here but it's it is what it is uh, i'll have my own real real soon so um all right, about to go hit this push workout. I gotta pee again, so I'll see you in a second. In Ontario, California. Oh, they having a store closing. Might have to go in there. But I just got my toes all pretty, or whatever you wanna call it, but I just got a pedicure. And um, it is now time to go find my shorts. So, if you guys don't know anything about men's physique, um, we were posing short sizes and um, my shorts that I've been wearing that I really love, uh, my waist has come down so I'm not able to wear those anymore. So uh, I'm about to go in here, I'm going to pick out a few pairs of shorts, probably put it on Snapchat or Instagram, let people pick, do a little bit of shopping, see what people choose. And that'll be it. It's a day so far. Started the grooming process this Wednesday, three days out. Just got my hair lined up and tapered. Told you I got a pedicure. And uh, now we're about to do a little bit of retail therapy. These next few days are really just about letting the diet take over and um, relaxing. So we're leaving for Vegas in the morning. So I'll show you guys in a second so the choice is pretty much uh, um, as far as what I'm looking for um, I, when you're doing your show somebody my color you want a bright color and a solid color and like all of these colors are like dull 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 and then hello stripes so you don't want your shorts to take away from your physique so I think I'm just gonna grab these red joints and call it a day so that was like the shortest trip to the mall I've ever had in life. Um, they have shit. Uh, short selections. It's very short. And um, I uh, went for two Forever 21. Everything was not my size. H &M, everything cool was not my size. because it's just been like a low, 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 low ass energy and I really had to focus on completing my workout so I really couldn't get any footage but it is about 8 a.m. right now uh, we'll be leaving for Vegas in about two hours or so um, well, today I have the athlete check-in so we'll just check in, get our number and all that good shit and then um <clears throat> And then we have my massage. There's pretty much a relaxation day. I'm at my last workout today. Um, it's a nice, you know, to finish off the depletion process. Right now I'm at Walmart. Uh, so I have to get two more gallons of water for one for today, one for tomorrow. <clears throat> get a little bit of water for um, for for Saturday. Um, but not too much, so That's what I'm about to do. So this video will be Five days out four days out. Oh, no four days out three days out two days out 
Um, and this is just the first half of two days out. So I'll end the first vlog here. And then the rest of the vlog will be Vegas. So you guys get to see Vegas. Um, the preparation, the athlete check-in, what that looks like for a national show. Um, I'm going to make sure to get, you know, as much backstage footage as I can. Um, I'm going, I'm doing the show by myself as far as uh, my competition teammates and stuff like that. Like last time I did nationals with two other guys. Um, but this is, I'm just really going to focus the fuck up and it's time to get shit done. So, all right. All right, so I'm out here in Las Vegas. It's hot as shit out here. Um, we're staying at the Four Points tonight. Um, you know, we're switching hotels tomorrow. But I am currently waiting on an Uber. It's about 4:30. I'm gonna get a quick workout in to you know finish the depletion process. And then I have a massage at six, a 90 minute massage. So I'll be doing about 7.30. And then um, check-ins are open until nine. So I'll shoot over to check-ins. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, I like checking in last at shows. Here's a uh, inside secret. Um, I don't know how they do at, at nationals because they may have already assigned you numbers based on registration. But I like to do everything kind of like last. And the reason I do it last is because um, the higher number you get, they go in order by numbers. So if I'm at the back, I'm one of the last per people that they see instead of one of the first people that they see. It's just a psychological thing so they remember my face more. Um, and so I'm just like a friend, like right before they do call outs, they see me. Um, and then I also don't like to be on stage uh, while 30 other guys come out. So um, it's just a, a chance for me to get out there and then be seen last. Um, but I'm not sure if that's how they do it out here. I'm not sure if they pre assign numbers based on registration. Um, I can see them doing that. Um, but I still, I register at the last minute as well, too. Just, I, do, I do everything at the last minute. And this is a case to where being last minute is not. A terrible thing so um, waiting on my uber this guy is going the wrong way so all right so I'm talking about this massage Wait, I'm gonna put this in the damn wall too first off I was supposed to have a massage on the other side of the city but the gym that the guy took me to it was a, mas uh, a nail salon slash massage parlor right next to it so I was like ain't no point in me Going to work out, I had to cut my workout short because Vegas traffic is crazy. So let me go in here. So I went in there and I said, Do y'all have any openings for a massage? And the lady said, Yeah. And she was sitting down, little Ling Ling was sitting down. Ling Ling. Uh doing nails. She had just like she had just finished doing some of my nails. She said, I can get you in like five, ten minutes. Oh, I said, Oh, so you doing nails and massages. <laughs> but she took me to the, to the back of their room. And they had some like little towels, like some towels laid out, just uh -huh. like some bath towels. And she's like, lay on one bath towel, put the other bath towel on top of you. I said, oh, we doing towels. Okay, Vegas is a trip. Bro, whatever. I just need to get my back, you know, worked on a little bit. Then she takes like 20 minutes to come in. I guess she had to go finish doing her nails. And she comes in. And she started doing like this little weak pressure and I was like, oh, this massage is going to be so terrible. I can't I'm going to pay for this. Then she like put her hands on my shoulder and jumped on my back. What? <laughs> Get out of here. She jumped on my back and she was massaging my back with her with her shins and knees. Her shin with her shins? Bro, I don't even know. I was like, that's the kind of pressure that I need, but I ain't never had nobody just, like, not even ask, right? She didn't even ask. And then with her knee in my back, she said, it's okay? No. I said, uh, well, I mean, it feels good, but I ain't never had nobody just jump on my damn back. And then she and then she started flapping her toes like this, like, on, 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 on my calves. And I was like, oh, okay, so she don't have a massage license, is what this is boiled down to be. And then, 
she got hot stones. She left. Didn't tell me she left. She was gone for like 10 minutes. So I got up. So I put my clothes on. She came back. She said, oh, not finished yet. So she comes back in with hot stones. And these mother... I can't hear her. her she said, ah, ah, ah. And they're too hot for her. She started putting them shits on my back. I don't like hot things. Now I'm like, man, what the... F I'm, I'm telling myself, like, man... Like, did this just be over? So she lines my back with the hot stones after she massages. Then she puts them on my calves. And then she takes the hottest shit ever. And it was obviously too hot for her, so I could hear her put it down until it cooled off. And then she grabbed it again and she was massaging my neck. I was like, man, this shit hot as hell. Oh, my God. Then... She picked up the stones to put them away and she dropped the, the stone on my head. And didn't say shit. Didn't say a word. She dropped the stone. She picked it up, dropped it, boop, knocked me. I'm like, oh, okay. So, huh? It's a rock. It's a stone. The hot stone that you know. And it's it's a stone, it's a rock. No matter how big it is. I mean it didn't hurt, but I'm like, oh, so you just dropped shit on my head and didn't say nothing. So, um, and it was like ninety dollars. I was like, man, Vegas out of my out of their mind. I was like, this come with a happy ending or no? Boy. <laughs> you don't have you call me, call me ah. your name.